Welcome to Equilibrium Studio. Start with your feet hip width distance apart and parallel. And feel a sense of length through your body, as if there was a little string pulling you all the way up towards the ceiling. Here, we're going to start by mobilizing the legs. So feel the weight under the ball of your right foot and the heel of the right foot as you peel the left leg up as much as you can, ideally with the knee in line with the hip. And then lower it down. Let's stay on the same leg. You're going to peel it up as you feel the connection from the big toe of the right foot all the way into your pubic bone. And bring it back down. Inhale here. Exhale to lift that leg up as if there was no effort. Inhale to lower. One more time. Exhale to peel it up. Inhale to lower. Let's go to the other side. Press the left foot into the ground. Feel the weight under the left heel and the left big toe as you peel the right leg into a tabletop position. Ideally, knee in line with the hip. One side is always easier than the other, so see whether this is your better or worse side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to peel that right leg up. Inhale to lower. Feel the connection from the left big toe to the pubic bone as you peel the right leg up into the tabletop position. And we've got one more here. Exhale to peel it up. And inhale to lower. Good. Let's keep the left rest down. And we're just going to focus on the upper body. So keeping the hip facing the front, you're going to lift your arms up towards the ceiling. And then you're going to reach the right arm in front, the left arm behind you, as you twist towards the left. Then reach the left arm in front of you. And let's go again. Left arm down, all the way behind you, as you twist towards the left. Good. One more time. Lower the left arm down and twist towards the left. Great. Now we do the other side. Right arm down and twist. And back to center. Inhale here. Exhale to twist towards the right. Good. One more time. Here we're trying to twist the upper body without moving the hips. Great. Lower the arms down and now we're going to combine the two movements. So you're going to press the right foot into the floor, peel the left leg up. Here you can have the arms wherever it's convenient, you can have them across your chest or out for balance. Now you're going to try to rotate towards the leg that is up, then bring it back to center and rotate to the other side. Let's do one more each side. Ideally, you would like the hips to remain facing the front, so you're not taking that floating leg with you. And one more time. Towards the right. Then lower the left leg down, peel the right leg up. And start by rotating towards the bent leg. Then back to center and to the other side. So again, on your worst side, this will be quite challenging. But take your time, and you can always use the support of a wall. Then you come back to center, lower that leg down. And now we're going to stretch this one out. So you're going to pick up your right foot, and you can place it uh, against the other ankle. If you're feeling particularly good with balance today, you can have that foot up onto the leg but it's totally okay to have it down. In opening the left leg out, make sure that you haven't twisted your hips so the hips are still facing the front. And here you're going to reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and bend towards the left. Then reach back up, lower the right arm down, pick up the left arm and bend towards the right. Back to center, let's do this one more time. Inhale, reach the right arm up, Exhale to bend to the left. Inhale to come back up and exhale to lower the arm down. One last time on this side. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale to bend to the right. Inhale to reach up 
exhale to lower the arm. Change the position of the feet. So this time it's the right foot against the left ankle. Make sure your hips are square. And let's start by lifting the right arm up. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale up, exhale, lower the arm. Great, inhale, arm goes up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach, exhale, lower. One more time. Carry on with this breathing pattern. Really feel the side that gets long as opposed to the side that gets short. And enjoy that sense of stretch. And then when you're done, you can place the feet down to the floor. Thank you for watching.